Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Serdar and I make YouTube videos about my plants. In this week's video, I will be talking about kind of giving an update about two of my imports from Equagenera, Ecuador and Indonesia, Frisia Flora. So if you're interested in that, if you have watched my previous videos about my imports and unpacking and rehabbing them, then maybe you would be interested in that, so keep on watching. Okay, so I have been postponing to make this video for so long, but some of you really, really asked about it a few times. So I think I'm not postponing it anymore. I have my coffee over here. So without further ado, let's just right, jump right into the video. As some of you know, I have imported for the first time this year from Equagenera. It's a very well known nursery in South America. And I have ordered seven plants in total from them, including three anterior Boraquenums, two anterior Forgetiaes and two Philodendron Elchacorets or Philodendron Vericosum 5. Um, they have arrived in two different packages and I have unboxed one of those packages live um, in video and you have watched it. If you haven't watched it, you can go and watch it right now. So the situation about my Equagenera import was a bit different in regards to, they looked really nice when they arrived. They had nice roots, they had nice foliage, like long, beautiful Vericoinum we're talking about. I even, I was so happy, I even made a selfie with it. I'll add it over here. And if you have seen the video, you already know about this. After that, things started to go wrong a little bit. But that was expected, that was like the real reality of importing. The plants can go back into shock or lose some leaves, etc. But what happened was, although I kept everything in the same conditions, the Forgetiaes was thriving, they were really okay. They were having new leaves like this one. Um, inflorescence, I cut the inflorescence. It, it, it died, etc. Like lots of roots, Forgetiaes was settling really nicely. At the same time, all of the work quenums was going back to stump. Well, I have to take some responsibility over here because I made some choices and maybe those choices were wrong. But I said it in my rehab video, but let's roll the clip. Fifth thing that I do, was to clean the roots completely from soil. I do not like to use uh, the soil the plants come with. This part is going to get controversial because some people think uh, you shouldn't stress the plants even further by, by cleaning the roots from soil. But that's what I did. Okay, so to clarify, I think it was a mistake to put the plants stri straight from import into pond to transfer them straight into pond. I think that was a mistake. What I should have done was just to let them acclimatize, let them rest a little bit, then maybe think of transferring them into pond. But to, in my defense, I kept everything in the same conditions. Forget the ice, did so good. They were like really happy, but all the work quenums went back to stop. Uh, El don't even ask about it, they arrived in an awful condition and only one of them survived. But what happened was that most seven, three plants out of the seven have survived and the other four went back to stumps. This is one of the four Getiais. Initially I planted these two in the same pot, but then it was getting too crowded so I separated them recently. I guess it didn't really like it because it's losing a leaf now, but that's okay. It still has really good roots. 
it's just a bit of a drama queen this leaf has grown under my care it has a crazy good oops can you see even it's a, it has a crazy good root system so i'm not so worried about it it's throwing a fuss it's okay i can take it um this one has grown an inflorescence in the meantime has lots of roots as well this was the leaf that was unfurling when it was being shipped so it didn't unfurl properly i had to cut part of it and now it has a growth point over here oops and it's doing something i don't know what it's doing but it's doing something so that's okay as well coming to the third plant that survived and it's a still under my care it's the alter coret it's now the smallest alter coret in the existence and it looks like this it's alive so i'm happy i don't mind a small alter coret but you may be asking what happened to the rest of the imported plants like what happened to the Varicorinums? What happened to the other Altracorette? Okay, the thing is, since they all went back into stump and I don't have the patience to grow plants from stumps, like some people like it to grow something from zero, to grow something themselves. Some people really like it, but that's not me. Like I feel the need to like check it every single day and like I don't have the patience. So I made them into a nice bundle. I added some more red sticks that I had like um, Pink Princess or Melanochrysum. Then I put it on auction from one euro. So the buyer determines the price and just I sold them and shipped them away. I hope they're okay. I hope the buyer is happy with their purchase. I hope they're thriving for them, but that was just not for me. They didn't die completely, but they went back to red sticks. That's not something that I would personally want to care about. Basically, that's the tea. And let's come back to my second import. The one that I was a bit more experienced with. <laughs> um, my second import was from Frisia Flora. I came together with four friends and ordered 12 plants into all together and I have four of them in front of me these four were was for me so these ones they were shipped bare rooted so I planted them into a soil mix I didn't plant them into pond this time and they are thriving so that's why I'm admitting to my mistake maybe it was a bit too much of a stress for the plants but yeah, I hope you can see, but this is, this pot is full of roots. It's full of roots. This is my Anterium papillimanum X, puppy X basically, because it's crossed with something. I don't know what, I don't think it's a pure puppy papillimanum. But yeah, this leaf already grew under my care. It's a bit floppy because it was the first leaf after import. But then, now it's having this new leaf. I just love this plant. I'm in love with this plant. I'm so happy that it's growing. So many juicy roots. Honestly, just, just can you have a look? Do you see these roots? They're like escaping from the pot. So, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. This is your update. Here is the update that I can't, this is the update I kind of want to give you. Um, this is my anterior king of spades. I think it was named king of spades recently, but I bought it as um, Dressleri X Magnificum, and it's like, what, what, what more can I say? Again, it's full of roots, full of roots, a pot full of roots. I love it. And here is the new leaf. This is the first leaf. It's growing under my care. It's a little bit smaller than the previous leaf. I just don't mind it. It came all the way from Indonesia. Uh, my Indonesian import was from Frisia Flora, as you know by now, or if you don't, just go watch my video. That was like the perfect video, I think. Okay, look at this one. What can I say? 
What can I say? Look at the roots. I should have done this from the beginning. I should have done this. I followed the instructions from Power Flower Plant, uh, Delal, basically. Um, and we ordered together because, yeah, we are kind of close friends now. So I want to say that over here. So we ordered together, actually, we were gonna do the unboxing together, but she couldn't make it. And as she's more experienced with the import procedure, I followed her ex experience. She also mentions on face, uh, Instagram, so just go check it out. I suppose this is my Anturium Dorayaki, Crystalline Dorayaki hybrid. Look, but no words. No words, really. What do you want me to say? And last but not least, this is my anterior crystal hope. This is the newest leaf. This has grown under my care. Over here, this is the newest leaf that has grown under my care. They are very similar, I must admit. A bit different though. This is more round. This is more pointed. The veins look uh, more downwards in this one. The veins look more sideways in this one. I can see the difference. You don't have to, I can see the difference. But yeah, this is my crystal hope. I just, look, look at the roots if you want to. Look at the roots. This import, 10 out of 10, maybe, I didn't make the same mistakes that I made with Equagenera. Maybe I'll give Equagenera another chance because still their prices are just so good to not give them another chance. But this import, my import from Frisia Flora, it's mind blowing, kind of them. The health of the plants, the beauty of the plants, the species. The, 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 Speechless. I can't find these species in Europe. That's why I ordered. With Echogenera, everybody has the Echogenera plants. Everybody. You can find them in shops, you can find them on Facebook. Everybody has them, everybody sells them. Everybody imports from Echogenera. But these plants, you can't find them. You can't find them in Europe. That's why they are like pearls in my collections, gems in my collection. That's why I'm so happy with my order from Frisia Flora. And if you're watching this video, and if you're thinking, oh my God, I want to order from Frisia as well. Just PM me. I want to organize a second order from Frisia, but obviously I can't make a 12 plant order all by myself. So if you're thinking, oh my God, I wish I had that plant as well. Just PM me. Let's get that list. Let's get that price list and see what we can do because I really need some of the, more of those plants. I really need more of those happiness in my life. Not this stress, more of this. Not this kind of stress. Not this kind of not caring about the customer. I want this kind of feeling special, a little bit something, something special in my life. If you feel the same way, just Text me on Instagram, PM me on Instagram. I talk to my plants on Instagram. Of course, if you're in Europe, if you're somewhere else, it doesn't make sense. And preferably if you're in Belgium or Netherlands, otherwise it doesn't make much sense if you know what I mean. But that's it, I suppose, for my update on my imports, as you so wanted to see them here are all about it, here's all about it. And yeah, and see you in the next video. I'll try to get into a more cohesive schedule for my YouTube videos as well. I'm done with my exams, I'm done with my thesis. So I'll see you around, bye, thank you.